Dudes, Jason here. Uh, just a very short tutorial on how to go about installing Duik onto your own personal devices um, and then jumping into the actual tutorials. All right, so if we remember, the folder that I gave you guys in our class was labeled MD100 Week 2 and it had the Illustrator file that we'll be using in our tutorial as well as the Duik Basil actual install files. All right, so I'm currently working on a Mac. I'm going to walk you through the process of how to do that on a Mac. It essentially just means that we copy and paste these files into a particular folder. The exact same thing for a Windows. I'm not going to be able to show you how to do the Windows, unfortunately, but thankfully, they've been kind enough to give us an installation readme text. Okay, so super basic. Um, you just have to sort of uh, grind your way through it until you find these particular instructions over here. All right, so... You're going to be taking the files, which are these for a Mac and these for a Windows, and you're going to be copying them into the correct folder. All right. So for Windows, you'll find it under your C disk, wherever you installed your um, Adobe programs. So typically under C, look into program files, not program files 86, just program files. Adobe, Adobe After Effects CC tends to be the very first folder option. Down, if you scroll down through that, you'll find support files, and then you'll find scripts, and inside of that, you'll find script UI panels. And that's where you will then copy and paste these files. All right, for a Mac, a little bit easier. We just have to go to applications, Adobe After Effects CC, scripts, script UI panels. All right, so I'm basically just going to recopy these, uh, copy five items, jump into my applications, Adobe After Effects, uh, scripts and then script UI panels and I can paste them in here all right and then I'm essentially just going to overwrite uh, what I've already got and you'll have to provide some sort of um, especially on a Mac like permissions so your password fingerprint whatever okay so it's important to do this before you launch After Effects now I've tried to replicate what happens when you install this for the very first time uh, unfortunately, uh, once you give it all the correct permissions, um, you essentially never have to do it again. All right. So I'm just going to show you where or what will happen rather when you jump inside of After Effects and open Duik for the first time. All right. So just basically creating a new composition. So we're not looking at that screen anymore. Uh, under Window, if you've copied it into the right place, you'll see that Duik Basil is now listed over here. All right. And when you open that, we remember that we get this drop down. Okay, if you are installing it for the first time, you'll get an installation pop up from Duik, essentially just saying that it needs permission to be able to write files into After Effects. All right, and it's going to ask you then to open up your system preferences. Okay, so on a Mac, that is under After Effects preferences. And then on a Windows, I believe it is under file preferences. All right, but this thankfully is exactly the same. So we want to jump into uh, just the general for now, and we want to take a look here. All right, so some computers, uh, I guess it's just depending on the most recent version of After Effects or not. Um, what we're looking for is a, a checkbox option that says allow scripts to write files and access networks in After Effects. All right, so it will be in one of two places. If you open up your preferences and you do not have this bottom tab at the bottom saying scripting and expressions, then your option will be found under general and it will be one of these. Okay, if you do have this option, scripting and expressions, this is the option that you're looking for. Allow scripts to write files and access network. If you don't have this tab, it will be the exact same thing. Allow scripts, yada, 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 under your general. Okay, so just make sure that you check that and you turn it on. You say, okay, um, Duik will then sort of have an empty box. So you can just close it, reopen it. And now we have access to Duik. All right, nice and simple. If you guys are struggling, uh, like welcome to bring your laptops to class and I can help you out. As I said, there are plenty of tutorials online as well, um, but essentially just a very super simple way of installing Duik and jumping into it. All right, so hopefully that uh, answered all of those questions and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.